welcome to our class today. We're going to do a big board session, so if you have one, you can grab it. I'm just going to sit sideways on so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so you're going to sit up nice and tall, knees are 90 degrees, feet and hips are hip distance apart, knees are hip distance apart, interlace the hands behind the head. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, I just want you to drop the chin to the chest. You round and tuck in the tailbone underneath you. And then as you exhale, come back up to sitting tall. Extend the chest up to the ceiling. And again, inhale. Tuck, tuck in the chin, tuck in the tailbone. And exhale, coming up to sitting tall. And again, breathing in, fold yourself in half not pulling on the neck with the hands and lift and let's go two more exhale to round in the spine rolling off the sitting bones inhale up to sitting tall last one let's exhale to roll inhale up to sitting tall last one let's exhale to roll and inhale come back up to sitting tall you're going to go up and over to the right side of the room then you inhale to lift up through the center and you exhale to go over to the left. We're just going from side to side. Lift through the center. Rotate over to the right. Making sure that your elbows are staying wide, your back is staying nice and tight, squeezing those shoulder blades together so that you don't start rounding as you move. Feel like you're sliding your back over against the wall. Up and over to the left and center good relax the arms at the sides drop the chin to the chest roll down straightening those legs a little bit as you go and just hang over those thighs inhale and as you exhale gently start bending the knees start to round the spine coming back up to sitting tall and again inhale dropping that chin rolling down rounding into the back and hang inhale and exhale rolling back up using those abdominals to lift you up to sitting tall let's do two more breathing in rounding and rolling and just stay here let the back of the neck stretch out inhale and exhale roll back up one more breathing in at the top breathing out drop that chin and roll down and just hang a little longer this time and then exhale as you gently restack the spine Coming up to sitting tall. I'm just going to move a little bit back on my mat. You're going to interlace the hands behind the head again. Elbows stay wide. You walk the feet forward. So you're taking your lower back into the ball. Then you're going to inhale. Lower backwards over that ball. Get a nice stretch into the chest and into the abdominals. Exhale, drop the chin. Close the ribs, lift the head and chest up. And again, inhale, lower down, over that ball, lovely stretch. Exhale, head first, and hold. Inhale to lower down, and exhale to lift. Two more, breathing in to lower, breathing out to lift. one more you'll really feel your lower abs here you're pushing the pelvis into the ball as you lift the head and chest and lower back down on the next one we're lifting up and we're doing a chest lift with rotation so lift the head and chest hold it here rotate over to the right lift through the center and to the left and you lift and rotate up and rotate keep going one more to each side 
come back to the center, hold, 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 and exhale. Lower back down over the ball. Extend those arms and just give yourself a nice stretch. You can rock forwards and backwards. And then gently circle the arms all the way around. Lift the arms up to the ceiling, take them back over the head and just circle them out and around. And lift up to the ceiling, back over the head and circle. Gently drop the chin to the chest, walk the feet back. So you come up to sitting. Then you're gonna come up off the ball. You're gonna lie on your back and you're gonna place your legs over the ball. So I want it to be touching the calves and the back of the thighs. Arms press firmly down into the mat, legs are together. You take a deep breath in, push the shoulders down into the floor, and as you exhale, tilt pubic bone into the belly button. We're doing a pelvic curl. As you lift the legs up or the hips up, the legs start to straighten. Inhale to hold, you're still trying to round. Exhale, roll down with the rib cage first, rounding into the lower back. And it's quite nice to be elevated. It gives you a little bit more space to roll. Inhale and exhale, tilt. And lifting those hips up as you straighten the legs. Push the arms down at your sides to help you stay stable. Breathing in at, at the top and breathing out, rolling back down, curl. Getting into the lower back, then release to neutral, pushing the rib cage into the floor, inhale, and exhale, tilt. Use abdominals to tilt that pelvis, and then lift the hips, straighten the legs. Breathing in, and breathing out, rolling back down. You'll feel your inner thighs working a little bit because you're squeezing them to keep the knees up to the ceiling. One more inhale and exhale, tilt the pelvis, roll the vertebra up, hold a little challenge. You're gonna lift the right leg to hover just off the ball and you hold it here, keep the hips lifted. You'll feel that left hamstring engage and then place the right leg down. Lift those hips up to get them even. Then push the right leg into the ball and lift that left leg up to hover just above. Hold it here, hold. And then place that left leg back down. Lift the hips up a little higher. Reach the right arm up to the ceiling. Take the right arm over the head. Just a little bit of a challenge for the balance. Circle the arm all the way around. Place the hand down onto the mat. We go with the left arm up to the ceiling over the head. Circle that arm all the way around, down at your sides. If you're feeling strong enough today, you lift both arms up. You take both arms over the head. You circle the arms all the way around. Place them down into the mat, lift the hips up higher, and then round and roll, lowering back down onto your mat. Place your feet onto the ball. They're sort of at the top, between the top and the side. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, we're tilting again. You're rolling back up. This time the knees and the feet are hip distance apart. And you're working on the stability in the feet. Inhale, hold. Exhale, roll back down. Keep pulling the heels towards the glutes and release to neutral. Inhale, and exhale, tilt and roll. Push down into the ball with the feet as you lift those hips up nice and high. 90 degrees with the knees and a nice diagonal line with the body. Exhale, roll the vertebra, pressing them down into the mat, and release. And you really should be feeling your hamstrings here. One more, inhale. And exhale, tilt and roll. Lifting all the way up. Hold it here, a little challenge again. We're gonna straighten the legs out, flex in the feet, and then you bend the knees back in. And again, straighten out for two, and bend the knees back in. And you straighten three. Use your arms to help you. 
bend in. It shouldn't be hurting your back because you're rounding in the spine. Straighten and lift those hips up one more. Straighten and bend those knees all the way to the heels. Lift the hips up higher. Then exhale to roll the spine down and release. Well done. Place the legs over the ball. Take the arms out to a T position. Press the back of the hands into the floor and just take the knees over to the right. You can look back at that left arm. And then lift the legs up through the center. Take them over to the left. Look back at the right arm. And lift the legs back to the center. Interlace the hands behind the head. Elbows are lifted just off the floor. Place the feet back onto the ball. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, lift the head and chest off the floor. Push down into the ball, straighten the legs away. Then push down into the ball, bring the legs back. Lift a little high in the head and chest. And then lower the head and chest back down. Inhale. And exhale, you're lifting up. Look to the top of those knees, push into the ball, straighten the legs, push into the ball, bring the legs back, lower the head and chest back down. Inhale and exhale, we lift, push down and away, push down and bring it in and lower. Two more, breathing out to lift up, down and away, down and towards. And lower, last one. Breathing out, you lift. You push down away. Now, as you bring the knees in, you're gonna rotate over to the right side of the room. You inhale, push the legs out, take the upper body through the center. Exhale, bend the knees, rotate over to the left. Inhale, push down through the center. And exhale, rotate. Inhale, straighten the legs and exhale to rotate. Breathing in, so it's just the upper body rotating. Exhale to the right. And we're going for number six, rotating over to the left. And you push down through the center and over for seven. Almost there, center. Rotating eight. One more each side. And over for nine. Last one, center. And over for 10. Come back to the center, lift, lift a little higher, lower the head and chest back down. Good, give those knees a little hug. You can keep the toes on the board just so it doesn't roll away. Okay, you're gonna grab the ball between the ankles, pass the ball to your hands. Lift the legs up to tabletop. Give a big squeeze into that ball. And as you breathe in, you're going to tap. Right toes down onto the mat. Take both arms over the head with the ball. Exhale to lift up. Now we go with the left toes. Breathe in to tap. Making sure the rib cage is pushing down into your mat. So you're not arching in the back. Keep alternating. Inhale. Exhale, lift. Give a little squeeze into the ball. And exhale, lift. And you inhale, number five. Breathing out to lift to that 90. Breathing in for six. And breathe out for, to lift. You have four more. And lift. Last three. And up. Keep that 90 degrees at that knee joint. And last one, inhale, tap. Exhale to lift, hold. Lift the head and chest up. Place the ball between the ankles. Squeeze into the ball. Reach the arms up to the ceiling. Lower the head and chest. Take the arms all the way back. Exhale, lift. Arms, head and chest up. Extend the legs up to the ceiling. Squeeze the ball. Reach forward with the hands. Grab the ball. Squeeze the legs together. Legs to tabletop. Lower the head and chest down. Take the arms all the way back. Then you lift, arms, head and chest, ball goes between the ankles, reach the arms up, lower the head and chest, take the arms back. 
and you're coming up, straightening the legs, reach forward, grab the ball, legs to tabletop, lower the head and chest, arms go back behind you, and you're lifting all the way up. Ball between the ankles, lower the head and chest down, arms going back, one more. Exhale, lifting up, straighten the legs, reach forward, grab the ball, squeeze the legs together, bend the legs to tabletop, lower the head and chest down, place the right leg down, place the left leg down, straighten the legs out along the mat, ball is going over the head, you inhale to lift, arms, head and chest, exhale, roll all the way up to sitting. Good. We're going to go into some side leg work now. So you can come up, you're going to place the ball on your right side, or if you're facing me on your left. You're going to have the right knee bent, left leg extended, and you are leaning over onto the ball. So it should actually feel quite comfortable. You can take the right arm quite low, left arm can stay in the front. From here, the leg stays parallel, so you don't want to start turning out. Lift the leg up and tap it back down. Lift it up to and tap lift for three and tap and up four and tap extend away five and down extend for six and lower lifting up seven and lower one more eight hold flex the foot take it forward point the toes take it back it's a small movement flex and go forward and point and go back and you flex forward and point and back and we go forward four point and take it back you have four more and back keep the knees straight point and back last two flex them forward point and back last one flex them forward point and back take the leg back to hip height and hip level we circle around ten nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one the other way for ten, we're almost there, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold, and then lower the leg, well done, turn over onto your stomachs, and you're just gently going to press over the ball and just gently rock from your hands to your feet and it should feel really comfortable folding the body over the ball and let's do one more Okay, gently roll off the ball, take it to the other side, and we're leaning into it, extending the opposite leg, so the right leg for me. You want to lift that right leg up, you're going to lower it down. You lift it up two, and lower. Lift for three, and down. Lift four, and down. Up for five, we're only going up to eight today and lift six you have two more lift seven try and keep the leg in line with the hip one more eight hold flex the foot take it forward Whoop. point the foot and take it back and flex and forward two point and take it back flex and forward three and point and back flex forward four and point to take it back four more forward five and back flex forward six and take it back two more forward for seven and back last one forward for eight and point and take it back take the leg back to hip level we circle for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one the other way for ten nine eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold and lower that leg, well done. You can sit the bum back to the heels, reach the arms forward on that ball 
and just stretch out into the back and into the glutes. If this is too sore on your shoulders, you can push the ball away and just do your normal rest position with the hands on the mat. And just inhale. And exhale. And one more inhale. As you exhale, gently roll all the way up to sitting. You can let your ball roll away. Reach the right arm up to the ceiling. And just lean up and over to the left. Then lift up through the center, switch the arms, reach up and over to the right. And come back to the center, interlace the hands. Give a big stretch up to the ceiling as you breathe in. And breathe out to release. There we go, well done everybody. Thank you.